Hey guys, welcome back to art. Last class we started working four elements of earth that are water, fire, air, and soil. Uh, last class we worked on water and fire, right? So we knew that which ones were warm colors and which ones were cool colors. Reflecting cool colors, we worked on uh, water here with whites, with blues, with greens, and maybe some violets, right? For fire, we worked on warm colors that are red, orange, and yellow that we represented on fire. Today, we have to work on uh, air and soil, in which I already uh, am a step ahead of you guys because I already worked a little bit on air. You can see the difference over here in between these two, darker colors and really light, because when you look at air, actually you don't see air, but you can probably sense it, right? You can see like, uh, what's like with the clouds or when it's starting to snow. So it's kind of what I want to represent with air over here. As you can see, basically these two are uh, cool colors, but I represented these cool colors with lighter shades and this one's really dark, okay? Now, I'm gonna work with you guys on, on soil because there's a little twist into what would be working like reds, yellows, and oranges. I'm gonna add up a new color that is brown. And why am I adding brown into warm colors? Because actually brown is a combination of orange with a little bit of black. So that's why it turns out being a warm color too. So what I'm gonna do actually, I don't have all the colors together with me, but what I'm gonna use over here are my black, my yellow, and my red. What am I gonna do with these three colors? I'm first gonna separate a little bit, separate this a little bit like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of red to it and create my orange. So mixing up these colors, you can see I have my orange already, right? I've got orange. Now what I'm gonna do also, I'm just gonna be careful with this. I'm gonna toss a little bit more of this yellow, oops, this yellow over here, a little bit of red right there. Mix this up right like that. Now I have a second orange over here in which what I'm gonna do is get it with a little bit of black. So once I start mixing up this color, you can see that I obtained brown. See right over there, you can see this? It turned brown. Okay, so actually those are the colors that we're gonna use for soil. And we can just play around with them and, um, and mix up inside your the uh, cardboard that we have over here. So what we're gonna be needing is actually the same things as last time that we're gonna need water, temperas, um, a little sponge, um, and warm and cool colors. So let's begin with our project and let's start mixing and um, putting some um, paint on, on our cardboard like this. And let's keep on working.
you can see over here, it looks kind of not so nice. So what we're going to do is add some little yellow onto it and orange and keep on working on the, on the process of coloring and mixing up colors. So just continue working and until you have a nice idea of what you want for soil. So let's keep working on it. So as you can see over here, we're just blending in the colors so we can have different shades, different hues inside our textures of soil. If you wish, you can also put some black into it. Okay guys, so basically that would be something that we could be working on to represent soil. So we have, you can see over here our difference in between fire and soil. We can see our difference in between, these are two are warm colors, I'm just going to put this over here. Let's give me a sec. Okay, so you can see difference in between 
fire, soil, that are warm colors. Water and air that are cool colors. Okay, so I wanna see these beautiful works in my platform soon. So as soon as you're done working, please send them in. I hope you have fun, enjoy doing your work. Hugs and kisses for everybody until next class.